Hey, what is up, guys? It's AJ Brook Reviews here. Today, we'll be looking at LEGO Minecraft 21262 The Windmill Farm. This set is ages 8 plus, 462 pieces, and retails for $54.99. This set came out June 1st, 2024, as part of the LEGO Minecraft Summer Wave. So, let's not wait and let's see what's inside. Unfortunately, the audio uh, didn't work for this clip, but as you can see here, we have the back of the box. Uh, yes, little play features, which we'll get into the in, uh, in the video, so make sure you guys keep watching. You have two thumb tabs here, and then we have all our contents which are inside. And the set comes with five bags and two instruction booklets. Again, the audio did not work for this clip for some reason, but uh, here's our first figure. The player name, according to the box, is Miller, but the player could be whatever you want it to want, it, want it, uh, his or her to be. Uh, the player here is holding a silver hoe and some shears. Uh, on the back uh, printing, there, on the torso, there is back printing. As you can see, I'm taking the little cape off that comes with the figure. Uh, I do like the head printing, and I do like the color of the pants, and I do like the accessories that it has. We do have two sheep in this set. We have a yellow one, and we also have a orange one. Um, there is two tan uh, bricks included in this set, and that is because you can pretend that your sheep have gotten sheared, and now they are naked sheep. So I died is a really nice inclusion, and they do come with two, so both your sheep can be sheared at the same time, and then you have your, you know, your pieces of wool you would get from shearing your sheep. So that is a nice inclusion in the set. I do like how we have, we do get two colors of sheep that we haven't gotten a lot. Um, I believe we haven't had an orange sheep before, or if so, it's been in one other set, and the yellow sheep I believe we've had before, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. There is a bunch of small builds you get in the set, such as this crafting table, a cake, a torch, a little bucket, an egg. I believe this is a, uh, a loom. Um, I'm not sure though. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. But I do like the inclusion of all these little mini builds, and they do allow for a lot of customization um, for the two larger uh, builds you get. So the first build um, in the set, one of the two builds we get in the set, is this little vegeta vegetation grassland uh, area. Uh, you can see there's vegetation, there's a little farm here on the side, and this is represented by the transparent blue representing water. And then there's also uh, you know, sugarcane, beetroot, wheat, or carrots, whatever you want it to be. And then on the perimeter of the build, there is this nice stone uh, wall that's put up to protect against you know, mobs or other animals. And then in the front here, you do have this nice old little open area, which means it allows for a lot of playability. You can put your crafting table or your cake. Uh, put your figures over here um, And then finally you do have two sunflowers and you have this tree and you might be wondering why it's orange and yellow Well, that's because the player would have sheared off the leaves and then replaced the leaves with this orange and yellow Wool from the sheep that came in the set or that come with the set So yeah, it's a really nice like uh, addition they add into the set and other than that It's a really basic build, but it does the job. Well, it's pretty nice. So now let's look at the windmill well, we covered the farm part, now let's cover the windmill part. So, this is the windmill. As you can see, it's way larger than the farm. Uh, this is the player standing next to the windmill. Pretty massive. Um, you can see here, large uh, windmill, little uh, propeller uh, that can spin, which is really nice. Um, which just look right here, the mechanism in the back, get that over with right now. There's a gear and a long, two long technic pins that connect uh, to the bottom of the base, goes through to the second floor, and then um, connects through you can see the gear when it when I move this gear these two gears move and then the main uh, propeller in the front moves so that's how it works pretty basic nothing crazy uh, in the front here you do have two lanterns and you do have a uh, little entrance uh, on the left here and on the left and on the right you do have a nice open area you can put a lot of your small builds there you do have some space on the roof too, so again, allows for a lot of, you can have some stuff up here if you really want to. A lot of open area uh, down here, so you're all your builds. The only thing I don't like about this build is that the bottom part here is taken up by this, one of the large Technic pins um, for the uh, windmill build, for the main part of the windmill. So, uh, you know, not a lot of space there, but there's a little space in the front you could do stuff some with. Uh, and then on the second floor you do have uh, very little space so again not desirable but there is more space than the bottom part right below it uh, that's the only downside of the set but it is a really nice looking windmill and I do like how it spins as you can see uh, and it's uh, it would be a really awesome addition to any Minecraft world it's uh, a really nice build definitely gonna put this in my Minecraft world and uh, yeah that's the set so now let's look at the box instructions and my final thoughts 
So as you saw earlier, there are two instruction booklets. Uh, second one, or first one doesn't have anything special on it. Second one is the one with the win, uh, ad per usual, parts list, and your advertisements. Make sure you go check out my videos on 21259 and 21260 if you haven't already. Uh, as you can see, there's six sets in this wave. Uh, really nice Minecraft wave. So we have our two instructions. And the box is isn't anything special, but is a decent sized box uh, a box around the 50 60 dollar range overall it's a nice set uh, definitely do recommend picking it up 55 dollars it's kind of worth it if it was like 50 if you can find it between 40 and 50 we'll definitely recommend picking it up there um but 55 isn't too bad of a price uh for its value it's not bad you do get a good amount of figures you do get two builds um great addition to any minecraft world honestly so yeah, if you pick up the set, uh, I believe you'd have a lot of fun with it. But that's the review, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos, uh, especially my LEGO Minecraft reviews if you like those, and I will see you guys later.